Hey guys, what's up? It's Aaron with the Detail Coat. Do you have a dirty car? Well, reach out to us. We have a few mobile trucks where we can come to you, and we do have a shop as well. So book your appointment at thedetailco.com. Use the code DELOCICO23 and receive 10% off. See y'all later. What's the name of the band? Dragon Rapid. Where, where, where's everyone from? Um, the Danny J's from El Paso and Ciudad Juarez, uh -huh. and uh, the guitarist is from Austin. Oh, crazy! Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Before we get into that, this is, this is your boy Loser Lou, sitting in the back of the West Side in my back room. I just finally had a few drinks for the day, so I'm I'm, I'm trying to get adjusted to being slightly drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I got my boy CPJ here tonight. What up, Cats Pajamas? Yo, yo, what up? Good to have you here tonight. Hey, thank you. Thanks for having me, man. Man, when you told me you were getting ready to to take off, so I was like, man, I need to sit. I need to sit down with this guy. I just yeah, I just yeah. met him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding, man. Yeah, I just met you, and I was like, oh, I'm leaving. By the way, yeah. Hey, that's cool though, man. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Got to move around. Got to get out of here. Yeah. So. Like I was saying, it's May 30th, 2023. It's like 76 degrees. Um, so how did you three get in contact? You, uh, Danny G, then the guitar player from Austin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there were already a band. And um, I um, interviewed Dragon Rapid because I thought they were cool. They're a post-punk band from uh, Austin. So I drove to Austin, did an interview. Um, we clicked. We had fun. And then um, I just kept in contact with the guitarist daniel and uh we kept talking and stuff and so there's danny and daniel yeah D, &D. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's danny and daniel and yeah man D, &D. and uh i was talking to that dude and i was like hey man I, I like i fuck around and make beats and shit you know i sent him some stuff and they fell in love with that one in particular like oh shit yeah you gotta let us fuck with this you gotta let me play guitar let me sing on it and there you go man that's the the product man, that would that was interesting. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. So uh, I met Cat's Pajamas. He has a he has his radio show. Yeah. And uh, yeah, y'all. He invited me to ha his his apartment, and he did not kill me. <laughs> so we became friends. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> he That's was all. Right. I could have been a serial killer. I could have no, been a serial. You were like you could have been. You could have been. Killer, yeah. I just invited you over. <laughs> yeah. Nah, it's all good. Nobody got killed. We're still here today. We're still chilling, so hell yeah. Still chilling. So I've seen you uh, uh, get into some more events out there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For How, sure. How'd you like Snake Hill the other night? Dude, Snake Hill's dope. Um, I love Snake Hill. Snake Hill. I love the vibes. It's a real cool place. Um, Good networking place, man. Every time I go there, I meet someone interesting. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah, so I really dig it. Um, It's cool. And then I, I booked an event with Dragon Rapid at Cream. And Kawinka Dinks, I was talking to the owner, woo woo woo, and then the guy said that he's relatives with the person yeah. from Snake Hill. I didn't know that, so I was like, "Oh shit, no wonder." I, the same vibes, like it was different genres of music, but I was like, it has that same cool vibe, that chill vibe. So yeah, I dig it, man. 
Yeah, uh, shout out Jess. Uh, shout out Jess. I like Jess. That's my boy. That's my boss. I've worked a couple shifts at Snake Hill. Oh, no shit? Yeah, I bar back there one night. The other night, I uh, uh, had to check IDs and do the door. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you sighed, man. What was that sigh about, man? <laughs> That was a that was a Charlie Brown side, man. It was just a night that night. Like we had to kick someone out. We're in the middle of kicking someone out. This other guy decided yeah. to beat the shit out of this other guy. Oh shit, dude. I think I saw <laughs> that post. Was that you? Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit, well, I mean, dude. thank God the guy was like hitting the other guy and like there was no blood coming out or anything. So it was like, all right, cool. But it was just like at first me and the security guy, Kev, what up, Kev? He uh uh he got into the fight with him and we were just like, yo, get out, like, step out, like, yeah, let, them, yeah. let them do their, let them do their thing in the street, yeah. like, fuck them, like, yeah, it's right. not inside. <laughs> Damn, dude, that's nuts, that classic, man. Well, I mean, like, that, and then, like, I the other night, it, it, it just, uh, it comes with the territory. I'm gonna have believe. to put a tip jar out there or something, man, because, <laughs> <laughs> do it, man. <laughs> but no, I have, a gra- I have a great time working there, I have a lot of fun, I can yeah, see a yeah. bunch of the homies. Yeah, um, yeah. Night shift crew has their own drinks there and stuff. That oh, is cool, yeah, man. Yeah. I I dig it, man. I dig what they're doing there. Yeah, man. Shout out Zergtronic. That's the, that's the man right there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ease too. <clears throat> Ease is always giving me like best new music recommendations. Yeah, he is good for that. He's, he's gnarly. Fucking, he, <laughs> he can smell out new good new shit. It's dope. He's got good new shit and good new conspiracies. <laughs> <laughs> He's a conspiracy theorist, that guy, dude. Uh, shout out Ease, man. We did a we did an interview. I interviewed them, and we were talking about conspiracies, and he had a yeah, lot I, to I say. Was there, I was there with y'all. I think I was yeah, there yeah, with y'all yeah, that yeah, night. Yeah, 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 for sure, man. So originally, where are you from? Originally from Chuco Town, Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. Hell yeah, yeah, man. So yeah, so uh, pretty gnarly, man. It's, it's cool. I dig it. Uh, moved out here in San Antonio uh, 12 years ago. Been here 12 years. Um, but, yeah, man, just finally started coming out of my shell and stuff and starting to network and meet people. So, yeah, for sure. So what's the significance with this mask? Because I know, like, I've asked you before, and you just kind of like, it was a cool mask, and I threw it's, on my cool it just, hat. It just looks cool, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Um, Did you, like, wrestle someone for it or something? No, nah, cl- almost, man. Nah. <laughs> nah, man. Um, uh, I guess there's a lot to it, but um, really, I was just... I'm just kind of shy, you know, to be, <laughs> to be that's just the truth. Man. I was just like, oh, shit, man, you know, and uh, I just thought it'd be cool to wear uh, a mask. Originally, I was going to do music just like I did with Dragon Rapid. I was going to be this musical artist and shit. So I was like, I need a cool fucking mask. So I was looking for masks and um, I found this mask. And when I did research on the mask, because I was like, I don't want to wear some shit. And it's, you know, maybe it means I'm gay or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know? I don't know, man. Everything means something nowadays. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I looked up the mask and it actually goes back to uh, Nacho Libre. If you've seen the movie, um, that was a that was a real character. That was a real dude. And his mask was a tiger mask. Um, so that dude was real. Japan took that story, they made a cartoon and comic book about it. And then they created a game called Tekken, and there's that Jaguar hey, character, yeah. and that's based off of that. And then eventually they did a movie with Jack Black called Not Your Leave, but it's all based off of the same dude, and that cat wore, uh, he wore a tiger mask. So that's where this mask comes from. So, um, yeah, I mean, I didn't know that. I just did the history, thought it was cool, and I mean, it is a cool start, mask. started wearing the mask, man. <laughs> that's it. There's nothing else really to it, man. Isn't there, uh, the, the, the truth of the matter is, the truth is, here we are, dun, dun, dun. The reason why Cat's Pajamas wears a mask, ladies and gentlemen, is because it's cause I'm ugly behind this thing, man. <laughs> oh, shit, man, I'm a beast. I'm hideous, man. You don't want to see me. He has a butt for a face. <laughs> it's a real butt for a face, man. He's <laughs> got real cheeks. <laughs> They're real cheeks, and they clap all the time. Don't oh, <laughs> my God. Here, let me unlock this door real quick. My bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's some dumb shit. <laughs> no, that's some fun shit. So that's it's, what's so, up. It's, it's all good. It's all fun, man. 
So did you pierce the mask? Like, I see the little earring dangling. Yeah, shout out to Tia, uh, Tia uh, Transcendental Creative. Um, yeah, she does some cool shit, and um, I needed some more flavors, so she uh, she pierced it. Didn't hurt too bad, and uh, yeah, man. So uh, got a new <laughs> it didn't or- hurt too bad. <laughs> an original <laughs> earring, man. Yeah. Oh, for yeah. real? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, man, it's original. She does original work, so uh, pretty badass, unique, man, one of a kind. So how many of these episodes have you done? The Cat's Pajamas radio show. Oh, man. Uh, I think I was trying to think about it earlier. It's done about, I don't know. I'm, You're I'm, saying like 20? Shit, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> like 20 episodes or so. For sure, man. It actually all started, um, like I said, originally I was going to do music. I only did one show where I played live, and I was it was just me on keys doing looping. And then I was just like, that was going to be it, the niche. I was like, all right, this cat, this cool fucking tiger dude. And then um, <clears throat> I moved out to Louisiana. I got uh, robbed twice. Uh, what the hell? Yeah, man, it's Louisiana. It's New Orleans, to be specific. Oh, no, that's where you were at? Crazy. Pacific Oceans, I was in New Orleans. And uh, <laughs> it's a cool place to visit. Yo, shout out New Orleans. Uh, but, man, shit, dude. <laughs> you got to be cautious, man. And I wasn't as cautious. Got robbed twice, so I was homeless, living in my car. And I was like, fuck, dude. What, what can I do to be creative? What can I do in my car to keep my mind state positive and uh, in, in, in this good state of mind? So I started to reminisce about who was homeless and who was uh, going through this, that, the other. I said, yo, Karis one Ella Fitzgerald, uh, Tupac Shakur, all these dudes all at some point lived in their car. And so uh, I got on my phone, started recording it. Next thing you know, I had a podcast. I had a radio show. So, yeah, if you check out the Cat's Pajamas radio show and you check out the episode one, you can hear it's kind of sketchy because <laughs> it's literally recorded in my car while I was homeless. So, yeah. So that's how I started my... I, I actually heard that one. <laughs> oh, no shit? Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went back and I heard the first one. I'm like, Because I think uh, uh, I first heard of you through a uh, brain fart. The guy who created Toby. Oh, uh, Brandon, a yeah, powdered Brandon. wig machine. There you go, powdered wig yeah. machine. Yeah. I, I had heard of you through, through him, and then I think Zerk, you did a show with Zerk Tronic. Yeah, I did Zerk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I think that's when I reached out to you. Right, right. After I did Zerk, but no homo. Not like that. I, hey. I meant I recorded <laughs> Zerk Tronic. <laughs> no, nah, we did it too right afterwards. It was great. <laughs> it was all consensual. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now, now, yeah, man, for sure, for sure. But, you know, speaking of hearing about me, I hear about you quite <laughs> often, man. I, 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 I hope it's good things. All good <laughs> things. And I just wanted to give a shout-out. Shout-out to Lou. You are the, I was mentioning to someone, you are the oracle. You are the sway, <laughs> the BET sway <laughs> of San Antonio. <laughs> like, everywhere I go, everyone I talk to, Yo, do you know Lou? And it's like, yeah, I know Lou. Like, everybody knows Lou. You are the dot connector. You are uh, a staple in San Antonio. And I just want to say, on behalf of everyone in San Antonio, we appreciate you, man. Damn. And we thank you. Thank you. For sure. I appreciate that. <laughs> right. I heard something. I heard something, too, man. Ooh, this ghost, man. <laughs> but no, yeah, I appreciate that. No, I've uh, I've been in the city forever, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been doing things, just trying to have a good time, trying to stay sane, you know what I mean? Like, it's easy to, like, get stagnant. You, don't you know what I mean? I know what you mean, but you are completely relevant, man. Well, I'm try- I, tr- I, I put myself in positions where I'm not stagnant, you know? Right, right. Because, man, that's, that's, I don't want to be stale. <laughs> <laughs> You're not, though, man. You're doing some cool shit with the Lone Star Market and everything. Oh, like, hey, yeah, let's go this Friday. Hell yeah, Lone yeah, Star Market. Yeah, yeah, Lone Star Market. It's fun, man. It's uh, it's it's bad. I love what you're doing, man. I appreciate everything that you're doing. And uh, your pictures kick ass, and yeah, hell yeah, man. Dig it. Thanks, man. Dig appreciate it. that. Yeah, no, like, like I said, I'm just trying to stay sane. I'm trying to do things to... <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just trying. Like, I've been doing. I've been doing pictures a long time. I've been right, showing right, stuff right. a long time. But now it's just like trying to curate my own things. You right, know what I mean? Right, like, right. it's it's different when it's like you're always hopping on other people's things. So I've been trying to just like uh, start my own thing. <laughs> what up? Yeah. Hey, hey. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, get on. <laughs> 
Good morning. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. Top of the morning to you. This is my boy Cat's Pajamas. Hi. Hey, nice to meet you. You good. Cool. So you were ta- you were telling me earlier, uh can <clears throat> I can I can I talk about it? have you put that episode out? Well, uh, what, the, what? The, the artist oh, yeah, who's, yeah, who's yeah. doing Nard, Nardware's artwork. Yeah, Mitch. I rec- I did an interview with Mitch. Uh, I didn't get... Oh, fuck, I don't know his last name. <laughs> 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 Mitch something, man. The, the, Mitch, the guy who did the artwork for Nardware, uh, lives here in San Antos. And uh, yeah, man, it was, it was a pretty interesting interview, man, for sure. We got all vulnerable. We cried. We laughed. It was great. You should check it out. <laughs> oh, wow. So you already put that one out? Now I'm editing it right now, so it'll be out in, uh, I don't know, when do you, how long, do, how, what's your turnaround time? Uh, I record on Thursday, I put, put them out on Thursday, if I record it on Tuesday, I don't know, that one's up in the air. <laughs> 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 yeah, man, I don't know, man, uh, in like two usually, weeks. Yeah, usually like a week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it takes me about shout out, Shout out Smitty, he, yeah, he does all the hard, the hard Smitty, work. Shout out Smitty, man, shout out Smitty. Hey, it, has his, his episode dropped? <laughs> Shit, man, I'm slacking, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you just you just said you recorded it like a, like a few days ago. Right, right. So uh, I'm gonna take a leave. I'm gonna be uh, uh, a leave of absence, if you will, from San Antos for quite a bit. So I'm recording uh, episode after episode. So I recorded Tony Jupiter, Smitty, Mitch. Um, man, who's Tony Jupiter? Tony Jupiter. I, lo- I love that you're talking to people that I've never heard of. Oh, well, these like, cats. I like that. Yeah, yeah. These cats are from El Paso, from Ciudad oh, okay, Juarez. Okay. Uh, the Raza. Oh, that's right. They they came and did a show, no? At Snake Hill. There we Plug go. Plug in there Snake Hill. It all go. goes full circle, man. But yeah, dude. Uh, for sure, for sure. So I got quite a lot of uh, editing and work to do. <laughs> that's cool, man. It'll be out soon, man. By the time you see this, it'll be out soon. There we go. <laughs> So I know when we listen to your radio shows, you're oh, shit. Here you're we super go. you're super eclectic, man. I love that. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, for sure. Like, for sure. You're all over the place when it comes to music. Oh man, absolutely, man, absolutely. I've um <clears throat> yeah, man. I've been all over the place. Definitely eclectic. Um, I mean, even earlier you played some of the music that I did and that was like post punk, um, you know, new wave shit, but um yeah, I've dabbled in. I got a cousin who does hip hop. Shout out Gemma. He does uh, music, uh, Chicano rap. If you want to be Pacific Ocean with uh, Payaso Now with Five, uh, I've got a cousin who does. Who's an actual clown and shit and Juarez and stuff. And uh, well, what do you mean? Like he's a clown, dude. Like really? uh, like Bozo the clown and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, like I've se- I've seen someone like chilling on a. Rajmar and Culebra doing that one day. Yeah, okay. man, that's it's very popular in, in Mexico still, and uh, so he does that. So he listens to a lot of uh, Spanish rock. Um, of course, Sunday oldies. Every Sunday we listen to oldies over there. Um, oh man, just everything, man, jazz, uh, hip hop, uh, you name it. Uh, except everything except country. I've dabbled in the country <laughs> here. When I moved into San Antonio, it was kind of like. Uh, I couldn't avoid it, and I was like, "All right, let me be open minded and shit. Let me listen to some, to some uh, country." But uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I can't. Even, I'll, I'll dig Johnny Cash, and that's like the extent that's it, of that's it. Extent of it? Uh, maybe um, what's his face? Um, Hank Williams the third, you know, because he puts the dick and Dixie and the cunt in country. <laughs> that's, <about it. laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> he's wild, man. Yeah, man, it quite eclectic, man. What about you, man? I know you dig a bunch of different stuff too. You oh, can have to, right? Yeah, I listen to everything. I like uh, uh, everything, everything, everything. Uh, I, yeah. s- I saw you, man. You t- then- saw you kind of dancing at that pulga too. To some cum- I dig cumbias, <laughs> man. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I dig cumbias. Yeah, man. Where? Where was this at? Uh, at the market? Yeah, at the market, man. Oh, yeah. oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was fun, dude. I'm trying to go out this next Sunday, too. Oh, shit, I'm there, man. Yeah? Let's do it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We we, we saw the homie yesterday in New Braunfels. That was cool. My homeboy, Puro Pinche Pulga. Oh, yeah, hell he was, yeah. He was just chilling in the water. All, hey, what's up, Lewis? I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. That's cool. Yeah, some cool, random man. shit. Um, yeah, for sure. Dude, we found twenty dollars in the water yesterday. Oh no way! Yes. Dude. <laughs> Dang, that's what's up. That dude. was that was interesting. That was fun. Cool. Got like white powder in it and shit. 
Probably. Oh, it was it was in the water, so it was it was oh, all that's true. Well, doy, right? I'm gonna have white powder in the water. It fucking make no sense. What's wrong with me, man? It'd be a little clumpy. <laughs> that's what's up, uh, man. That's cool. Oh yeah, what else you got for me, man? What other questions do you have? For so, us? how do you choose people to be on your your radio show? Um, I have a. Is, uh, it just, is it just like you hear of these people and you start getting curious about them? I, I mean, that, that's that's how I am with it. Oh really? You just yeah. get curious? Yeah, I'm, I wonder like what drives people to do what they're doing. I have graphs and shit. I like have this wall. <laughs> <laughs> I do graphs. I, I saw it all your house. I saw all. I said, said the blueprint. <laughs> the blueprint of who's gonna be on the Cats of Jazz the Radio CPJ. Show. <laughs> nah, man. I actually um um I listen to for for certain things. I mean, I'm not like too intricate with it, but um, like like you said, curiosity, right? Like who is this but um a lot of it's like everybody has one thing in common it's kind of like an underdog thing like uh a rags to riches if you will or uh i see potential like everybody who's been on my show is a uh, kick ass like they're fucking badasses people who are entrepreneurs people who are going for it people who are going against the grain who are unique different who uh are just um gonna go against the odds no matter what people say or think about them they've going against that. And if you listen to the radio show and you listen to all the bands, they all have that one thing in common. They're all the underdogs going against the grain and uh, succeeding in that. And so I think that's absolutely marvelous. I, I appreciate it. So shout out Fixed Idea, Sex Mex, uh, The Wizard, Powder Wig Machine, all people just putting themselves out there being uh, absolutely ridiculous and not giving a fuck what anybody thinks. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, Zerktronic, all of them, hold all of them, dudes. You guys, you, I think you are amazing. I think you are different. You, I, uh, I love how Powdered Wig Machine does the cor- cor- coronation. Dude, thing, dude. The stuff, that stuff. <laughs> yeah, that, dude. Like, when I see their stories and see what they're doing, I'm just like, damn, that's dude. fucking dope. <laughs> they're off the wall, dude. And Brandon then they, and then they the made wall. Toby. Like, Toby was amazing. Like, I was so happy that they let me be a part of that. Genius, man. I saw it. He was, Toby, Toby was in this studio, correct? Yeah. yeah, I thought I saw a picture of that. I remember they told me not to take Toby anywhere, and I took him to a few bars. But the bartenders <laughs> let me. So they were like, "Yo, yeah. yeah, like I did everything before I got drunk." So <laughs> yeah, 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 man. I, unfortunately, I wasn't able to meet Toby. He had died um, from syphilis or something. I, I forgot what it was. To- Toby was this doll that they had created. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm I'm not gonna lie, he was he was pretty hideous, <laughs> but he was amazing. I remember he would. Uh, I remember when I was dragging this doll into Amor, like they're just sitting there, like what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm sitting it in the seats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the bartenders are just like, oh hell yeah, shout yeah, out yeah. JC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, shout out Powder Wig, shout out Toby. That was uh, that's pretty rad. I, I love that he did that. He. Um, Again, an oracle who is creating um, creating a community between different artists and stuff with this character, Toby, and connecting the dots. I find that in quite unique you know, here in this city, specifically Pacific Ocean. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've been to a few other places, and um, that's something special that San Antonio has, that there is those people building community, and that's one thing I appreciate about here is that y'all build bridges. Um, some burned, but um, there's bitch bridges being burned <laughs> and built at the same time. <laughs> yeah, man. They do get burned. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you build them back up. You build them back up, man. That's what us Mexicans are good for. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Cat Pajamas is a Mexican-American. Chicanismo in the house. Uh, Aslan, uh, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, for sure. Let's up. go. Let's go. <laughs> Dig it, man. So what you got going on? Like, the fu- future stuff. Oh, man, the future. Hmm. You got your little crystal ball? I do, man. Let me bring some around here. <laughs> um, no, nah, man. Um, uh, I got quite a few things. I've actually created this. Um, so I'm doing music with Dragon Rapid, doing music with uh, with the uh, Haunt Me also. I was actually, it started Haunt Me with Darius. Um, shout out Haunt Me. Shout out Darius. And so I did music with them, and... Um, so I do music with various artists. Um, starting a T-shirt company called Narnar with a super rad punk rock style, and then I also started this thing called Sunday Oldies, um, because I'm from Chico Town, from El Paso, Texas, and Ciudad Juarez, and so I also have a merch company with, um, yeah, doing oldies 
style stuff, you know, Pachuco style uh, yeah. merchandise. So, yeah, that's what I got going on so far right now. Man, I always have a, a dope <clears throat> time when I go out to El Paso. Oh, no shit? Yeah, man. I remember one time I was working out there for like two weeks, and uh, uh, I think I got a DWI in New Mexico. Or they let oh, me go. Shit. I don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah. Like This was over like 12 years ago. So. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. That's the thing to do. You go to El Paso and uh, get arrested. Uh, that's what Johnny Cash did. That's what a lot of people do. That's what they're known for, partying, uh, getting to some things. I know they have a big Harley Davidson store. Yeah, one of the biggest, man. Yeah, you'll see. Uh, yeah, it gets gnarly, man. I've seen a lot of crazy shit with that, man. Bandidos and all crazy stuff. But, yeah, for sure, for sure. But, um, yeah, the, um, El Paso's got a lot of culture, a lot of art. Um, a lot of good music. Um, you got Mars Volta from there. You got uh, that kid uh, Khalid from there. Um, yeah, yeah, it's got a lot of good stuff. <clears throat> it's definitely unique. <laughs> 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 Some secret things going on behind the scenes. Trying to pass something. Who's <laughs> try passing some? Pass, 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 pass it to the left. <laughs> the right is wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, man. <clears throat> yeah, San Antonio is a lot different than El Paso. Yeah, absolutely. Culture shock, man. Um, yeah, I got corrected a lot when I got here. I was like, oh, man, you know, so this is a, uh, yeah, me das un burrito. And like, oh, you mean a taco? Like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, sure. Uh, can, you, can I have, you know, uh, Oh, I f you know, just different things, chalupas, and everything's named different and blah, 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 whatever. After a while, I was like, I give up. Y'all fucking win. Whatever. Sure. <laughs> everything's a taco here. Uh -huh, sure. That's a taco. Sure. That's a neutralada. Whatever. That's man. funny. Y'all win. Y'all win. I, I mean, I'm, I get it. I'm in y'all's hood. You know, I mean, I know we, I know we don't got no, we don't got no chicos. No, nah, ain't no chicos <laughs> here, man. <laughs> so chicos tacos, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know, it's this uh, taquitos or flautas or whatever it is the hell they call it here in San Antonio. But it's some rolled up, <laughs> rolled up flautas, all right. And then they dip it into this sauce, right? And then they spread cheese all over. It. And then you got some green chili <laughs> sauce over. It. You eat it almost like a soup, y'all. But uh, yes, yeah, completely unique to y'all. Y'all wouldn't know nothing about that. So I'll pass off thing but for sure uh, a cool story um the uh mayor uh his wife really dig chico tacos and wanted chico tacos here and but um the owner told him to fuck off nah. yes huh <laughs> get out of here <laughs> for real and then in austin um some dude from el paso tried um recreating a, his own chico tacos and he called it chuco tacos in austin and um, the guys from El Paso found out, and they gave him shit, tried to sue him. He changed the name to Screaming Goat to kind of give the guys from El Paso, like, a fuck you. And then it still ended up, he still ended up getting sued, and they had to shut that shit down, too. So it's extremely unique. They take a lot of pride and joy wow. in keeping it there, man. Uh, wow. Anyways, fun, random fun fact, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Man, yeah, no, I I remember I went out there to take some pictures of the homies painting one time. That was a oh yeah, that was a fun <clears> event. <throat> cool, man. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of good, uh, a lot of good everywhere you go. There's art artwork and stuff, and you got Chicano Park there, and um, it's pretty rad for sure. Oh. All right, to get into the notes, what's the next question? It just says people to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Cross out Billy Madison because he's a cool dude. <laughs> Gnarly. So what? Um, what you got going on? When? When? What do you? I know you go to Dallas every now and then. Do a little. Do your show. Yeah, man. So I was uh, going to Dallas. Uh, shout out Jamie Brains. Jamie Brains is uh, does rock and roll high school on Saturdays on Canowinnow dot org, and uh, she hooked me up. Um, you know, I was doing my radio show, and she's like, "Hey, I know this dude. He should do some radio too." And um, she hooked me up, and I was doing radio and. Still kind of do it here and there um, in Dallas uh, on Candle and Now um, live stream. Yeah, so I, um, yeah, have an actual radio show for a minute there uh, in Dallas, you know, not just this uh, podcast thing. You know, yeah. So. so, yeah, for sure, man. So that's that's what I was doing there. But um, Dallas is cool. It's all right. It's all right. It's, 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 it's definitely different from uh, from here. Oh, yeah, yeah, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely more Cowboys 
uh, not as much Indians as here, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> but yeah, man, for sure, for sure, man. What about you, man? What have you been up to? What has Loser Lou been up to? Uh oh shit! There we go. I am preparing for Lone Star Market. Hell's yeah! I am preparing to show some pictures in July in Kansas. Yay! I'm doing a cool special event in September. I really can't talk about it, so I'm just kind of leaving Ooh, it like that. Exclusive. But shout 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 out uh, uh Francisco and Kozer and uh, Digital Pro Lab. Shout out Digital Pro Lab. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. That's what's up. And uh yeah, that's about it. Hell yeah, man. Your art your uh photography is uh pretty badass, man. You capture uh, San Antonio quite like no one else. And uh dig the West Side pics and it just man, you show a side that is fucking dope as fuck. Everything you do is uh because it, it's not easy, man. Taking anybody could take a fucking picture. Is that's bullshit. I take lots of pictures. My pictures fucking suck, man. <laughs> you gotta have you gotta have an eye for it, or or I don't know what it is. I don't know what the secret sauce is. Everybody has a secret sauce, and uh, you have a secret sauce. Maybe it's not like Ed's secret sauce from Good Burger, but it is your own <laughs> secret sauce. It's the loser loser secret sauce. And I get, uh, I get, I I get sad, it. and I just go drive around and smoke a joint. <laughs> <laughs> that's the secret sauce. Yeah, most man. of the time, like. Eighty <laughs> percent of the time, like, or I'll, I'll like drive around and I see shit. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, like, that yeah, shit's yeah. cool. Like, I need, I need, I need to show that. Right, I right. Need to do, I need to do something with that. Like, this shit's too <laughs> cool just to be here like that, dude. Like, but only you are seeing that. You're looking at it from that <laughs> perspective. So that's unique in your own way, man. Absolutely, I appreciate it, man. Shout out, loser, Lou, man. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate. It. Thank you, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, sh- oh shit, man! This guy feel like this is like the serious question. Oh man, <laughs> is that pause? So, are you going to continue to do this where wherever you go? Yeah, absolutely. Um, no matter where I'm going. Do you, yeah, do you have things planned out for the next the next place you're going? Um, or are you just kind of going out there just pitching a tent? I'm just I'm just pitching a tent, man. I'm not trying to stay. Like I'm proud of where I'm from, and I love Texas. Texas, I'll always represent Texas yeah. out. But um, however, this is something I plan on doing worldwide, taking it to, uh, to wherever, to Africa, to Mexico, to Japan, to uh, to China, to North Korea. That's right. I might go to North Korea. Hey, hey me and Dennis Rodman be chilling so <laughs> <laughs> with Kim Jong Un. Nah, I just playing. I don't give a fuck about that guy. <laughs> But nonetheless, uh, yeah, I'm planning on taking this worldwide. This isn't something I'm just uh, doing here nor there, but everywhere, um, including your mama's underwear. No, nah, hey. I wouldn't do that. That's disgusting. You need to ask your mama <laughs> to wash your clothes more often and take a shower because that was gross. Anyways, for sure, man, taking it everywhere. Worldwide, prestige, worldwide. Worldwide, worldwide, worldwide. 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 Man, that, that, that cricket is killing me. <laughs> I know, man. Right. I remember earlier, like, we and you were just sitting here. I was kind of writing <laughs> some down. You're all, there's literal fucking crickets. Literal crickets. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of that Fresh Prince of Bel-Air episode where they were, there was like a whole episode where they were trying to kill this cricket. Like the whole entire episode. That's what it's all. Uncle Phil's going nuts. Will's going nuts. Everybody's trying to kill this uh, cricket. Anyways, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, whatever. Shout out, not shout out. Shout out, Uncle Phil. Not shout out, Will Smith. That was some ho ass shit. Uh, slapping Chris Rock like that. Uh, I'm I'm on team Chris Rock. Just by the way. There you go. So what? Did you ever watch Breaking Bad? Oh shit, man! I did it, man. They had a whole episode about trying to kill a fly. In no fly. shit. Yes, it was Damn. insane. Nah, dude, I never saw Breaking Bad. I uh. Everybody was talking about it, building up hype, building up hype, and then I was like, ah, shit. And by that time, it was too late, and I was like, man, I'm out the loop, man. I can't. Man, I, I've seen that series like at least a dozen times. No shit, damn yeah, it! Man. I can't even watch it once. I'm like, shit. I'm, I'm, I always have to be watching a TV show. No shit. Like you know, you came in, you saw me watching Modern Family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, that's like I thought that was Gilmore Glo- Girls. No, this is Modern Family. <laughs> <All> right, <laughs> sure. And that's about maybe the fuck. Tenth time I've seen that series. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's a long <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Nah, man. I'm not really a TV guy. The, uh, Seinfeld, I've probably seen a bunch of times, but that's uh, 
Uh, yeah, I haven't. I don't really. Wa- I don't really watch TV. You watch. Uh, watch anything really. I- I'm really a, a music guy. Like I, I would sit in my in the room and uh, stare at the wall, and uh, listen to music. Man, poke my nose, listen to music. For sure, for sure. That's 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 my jam. That's my thing. Man. Some, someone's got to poke it. Someone's got to poke it, man. You find some amazing <laughs> things, man. Absolutely, <laughs> finding crazy things in there. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, man. It feels weird, man. I feel like it feels weird being on this end of the thing. I'm. I've, this is like the first time I've done a podcast and I'm being interviewed. Usually I'm the interviewee, but uh, I don't know. So I feel like I keep talking and shit. I can't help No, it. man, that's cool. No, sometimes I just sit back and let people do the thing. Like, Cool, cool. All right, right on. Because... Because Zerk told me I talk too much. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> did he? But you're yes. a talk show host, yes, man. Of course he you're going to talk. He told me that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Zerk is that guy that talks a lot. You talk about AI and Zerk will go fucking on and on, man. Hey, uh, it's Skynet, bro. They're going to take over. They're going to kill us. Yeah, you believe so? Machines are going to be the death of us. Oh, shit, man. Hmm. Uh, yeah, maybe, man. It's, it's, it's kind of crazy out there. I don't know. How, I'm on the fence. I mean, whatever happens, happens. I mean, I remember people when uh, t- <clears throat> computers came out, everybody was, uh, you know, doing typewriting shit, and they were, you know, the dude, new do you age remember, Do you remember Y2K? And, <clears throat> fuck yeah, I remember Y2K. That was awesome, dude. I loved Y2K, dude. I had I had neighbors that had, like, their whole garage was filled with water. No, no shit. <laughs> Dude, I remember Y2K because I got to make out with this really cute chick I've been wanting to make out with. And I was like, dude, it's the end of the world. I'm the only guy around, dude. Like, we might as well do it. I'm the only guy around. What's up? We might die. It was uh, convincing enough when we got to make out. And that was the end of it because we were young. And, uh, and, uh, (laughs) you know, I'm a a clean cut guy and I don't do that type of thing. But we did make out. So there you go. You know, for like a slight second, Y2K, I thought like, yeah, this shit, this shit's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, and then nothing happened. And nothing happened. Nah, man. Y two K. Shout out Prince. We were bumping in nineteen ninety nine <laughs> like crazy. Yeah, we were. I remember that. That's funny. <laughs> uh, that was, oh, man. I love Prince. So it was a, it was a good time. I have good memories of Y two K for sure, for sure. Yeah, end of the world. End of the world. But I mean, how do you think it's gonna go? Um, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna go crazy trying to kill this cricket. Dude, that's how it's gonna happen, man. <laughs> We're gonna have a, a, a plethora of crickets take over. <laughs> There's so many crickets, we slowly start going mad and wild, and we start killing each other. I think, it, I think it got louder. <laughs> dude, it, it did, did dude. <laughs> it, put, it got louder. <laughs> <laughs> it put emphasis on this shit. Like, fuck you guys. <laughs> 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 Fucking crickets, man. Well. <laughs> well, it's about that time. I appreciate you sitting with me. Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah, for sure. Cats for Jams if, radio show. If they want to hear... They want to hear the show. How do they look it up? Um, you got to go to www uh, minus ten w's back to the three w's. So that's www. There's only three w's in that <laughs> dot Spotify <laughs> dot com. No, you hit up Spotify, man. You look up Cats Pajamas Radio Show, or you hit me up on the Instagram skis uh, Cats Pajamas one two three because some old lady who does crochet already took the name Cats Pajamas. So now you got to type in Cats Pajamas one two three. Uh, in order to find me, uh, the coolest cat on there. Can't you see? Uh, I don't know. Now I'm rhyming like Dolomite for some reason. But (laughs) I was watching that shit earlier. It's contagious, man. Um, (laughs) Anywho, you can find me on Spotify and or Instagram skis. Or you can find me at the market walking around San Antonio, walking around Louisiana, walking around El Paso, Ciudad Juarez, in Houston, in Austin, in Florida, in Denton. I'm all over the place. Uh, for sure, just look for the cat in the hat and you'll find me, and I'll be more than happy to say what's up to you. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> well, if you've listened this long, I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, oh, I, we've never seen him without the hat. Oh shit, no, <laughs> oh shit, oh. 
<laughs> I'm exposed. I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh, no. oh shit. Oh, uh, thank you. So I he said, if you want to get a hold of him, it's Cat's Pajamas. One, yeah. two, three. One, two, three. That's right, because I'm not just number one. I'm number two and three. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love you. Stay out of trouble. Yeah, love you too, man. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for taking pictures. Yes, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Fader. Absolutely. Shout out Fader. Much love, much respect. Y'all stay out of trouble. Don't do anything I would do unless it's absolutely free. <laughs>